Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. The Windows 10 April 2021 Patch Tuesday updates are now rolling out, and a new cumulative update KB5001330 for Windows 10 versions 2004 and 20H2 is part of those updates. And KB5001330 apparently has now fixed all the blue screen of death errors that were caused by the printer problem from last month's Patch Tuesday update that many of us are aware of or have unfortunately experienced firsthand. And it also addresses some performance issues in Windows 10 and fixes the File Explorer's broken search bar. Now, according to Microsoft, with the rollout of KB5001330, Microsoft has fixed and patched 19 security issues that were marked as critical and 89 vulnerabilities that were marked as important. And over and above these security issues and vulnerabilities that have been patched, they have also um, patched the Microsoft Exchange issues that were reported by the NSA. Now, with the rollout of this month's April 2021's Patch Tuesday updates, this is also the first Patch Tuesday that doesn't come with the Microsoft Edge legacy support or updates for the old legacy browser. As many of you know, the old legacy browser has now been discontinued and is no more and has been replaced by the new Microsoft Edge Chromium web browser um, instead of the old legacy Edge and the Chromium browser, um, as far as I am concerned, gets better with every update that they roll out for it. Now, as always, if you would like to see if you have the update, just head over to your settings in Windows 10, go to Update and Security, and as I mentioned in my previous video, this update will be automatic on your machine and is compulsory and mandatory. It is not an optional update, so this will be an automatic process, and you can always just double check and check for updates, and if you'd like to see if you have the update, you just go to View Updates and under Update History, it is a quality update, and here we see cumulative update for Windows 10 versions 20H2, that's also 2004, and KB, that which is KB5001330. Now, applying this update takes your version build um, from in Windows 20H2, which I am running, to 19042.928. So if we just go to our search bar and we type in WinVer, you can see Windows version 20H2 and the OS build now is 19042.928. And if you run in 2004, that'll be 19041.928. So the version number has now gone up for Windows 10 versions 2004 and 20H2. Now, in Windows 10 version 20H2, the, um, uh, the patch has also apparently fixed Explorer issues, Explorer.exe issues, and when you apply um, KB5001330, you should experience an overall improvement to your system performance, as mentioned earlier. And if you don't know what Explorer.exe is, it is basically the process that runs in the background on your uh, Windows 10 machine that basically powers and runs the taskbar, the Action Center, and the File Explorer. So um, that apparently has also been fixed. And also, just to end off this video, the Windows 10 version 1909, as many of you might be aware of, we actually made videos of this prior to this, is now approaching the end of service and where the support will end and users are encouraged to try and update to the latest version, which is 20H2. So as far as I know, the Windows 1909, Windows 10 1909 is ending service next month in next month's Patch Tuesday of May. So you have got basically one more month and the end of support is, um, rolling, is, is happening for 1909. Now, 
if we just go back quickly to Windows Update, if for whatever reason you are experiencing any problems with this update, what you can do is you can just go to your View Update History and Uninstall Updates. And you can go find it under Microsoft Windows. And here we have KV5001330. And you can click on that and uninstall it from your machine. Then restart after the uninstall process. And that should take the update off of your machine. And then what you need to do though is you need to just pause it for seven days. Or you can go to Advanced Options, Pause Updates and pause it for a longer period of time until those issues have been resolved. But mine, as I mentioned earlier, mine is installed um, properly this month. I've had no problems. So we'll just um, have to hope and see. But if there are any issues in the next coming days, I will uh, try my best to let you know. I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.